Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. This is a video of me taking my uh, my stent out for the first time. Um, I sped it up a little bit just to get through with it, but I wanted to let y'all know who's watching that I am no expert at all. Um, I haven't ever been formally diagnosed, but uh, my friends and family tell me that there uh, might be something wrong with me, that I might have a deficiency. So please don't watch these videos as, a, as me being an expert. Some stuff went wrong with this. We'll take and uh, we'll point it out at the end. There'll be a link in the description to that timestamp. Um, but right now we're shooting it. We got one shot off. We got, I think, a second shot off. I'm pulling the trigger. The hammer's not going forward. Eject the round. Um, what I found out was my machining tolerances, by machining I mean Dremel, were very loose. So the disconnector was able to slide over. So basically it made itself a safety. And this is basically where I say I'll just do the voiceover audio like I'm doing now. So we're giving it a couple more shots. Everything seems to be going fine. We get two shots off right there, but then we get some light hammer strikes. Um, you can see I tugged on the barrel. I'm not gonna lie, I used cheap aluminum pop rivets instead of the rivets they gave me because my hole drilling skills sucked. If you're building this and you're using just drill bits, oh, here we go, let's rock and roll. Oh, it doesn't work. If you're using um, drill bits that you buy from store, if you're not an expert machinist, use new drill bits for each and every hole. Just do it. Just spend the extra $4 and buy another pack and use the new ones and it'll keep your drill bit from wandering like I did. Those holes were huge. The rivets they gave me were not going in, staying in, so I used different sides pop rivets and it looks like absolute garbage if you look, like, uh, if you look at other videos. Um, and that's where this failure is going to come from. So here we're able to get a couple. We're looking at it. I'm making sure that the uh, bolt goes all the way forward. I'm not going to have any out of battery detonations. And it was a blast to shoot. Very loud. It was louder than, uh, you know, other nine millimeters I've shot. And then we have issue running. Um, one thing to be careful is if you're not extracting, it's really hard to see that round down in that chamber. Um, so be very careful looking at that. Um, I paused the video here and uh, it never started back up again when I hit play next. Um, but we're going to look at what happened. All right, so, uh, so what happened? Well, it probably isn't going to take a rocket surgeon to uh, realize that my rivets failed. Um, this is the remnants of one of the rivets which I was able to get in uh, that they sent me, but I would use too small of a uh, drill bit to drill my holes for my rivet, or I'm sorry, for my receiver and for my chunions, so um, it failed. And all the other ones are aluminum pop rivets. I thought they'd be enough, but evidently they weren't. One of the heads fell off while I was uh, setting it here on the table. This one right here, we can see that this one's fallen off at the range. The experience I was having was um, I wasn't sure what was going on. I thought it might have been the recoil spring, so I put a little bit more spring on there. Um, but then I realized that even when I was cycling it by hand, I still wasn't ejecting the, uh, the round. You could see in the video a couple times where it just kind of falls out. It wasn't ejecting out. Um, so, and I, you did also see me tug on the barrel once or twice to make sure that it was still there and secure. Um, it's kind of hard for the camera to look down in there, but you can see the trunnion and the barrel. And that barrel is supposed to be all the way out the trunnion to make a nice, smooth, almost ramp. And if you reach in there, I can feel a lip. So my barrel pushed forward. Definitely my front trunnion pushed forward because, uh, you know, you can see that the holes don't even line up. So not sure if the rear one did, but the front, probably not, but the front one definitely did. Um, and I'm curious if I get a screwdriver in here, I wonder if I can, yep, here they are. So clearly aluminum rivets from Harbor Freight aren't gonna be what you need. Let's see if I can pop any more of these up. So, oh, I bet this one will go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that just fell right out, huh? 
So definitely that front trunnion is uh, is moved forward a little bit, and uh, that's preventing. And you know what? The reason that barrel probably feels smooth is, or probably feels secure, is because it's welded for the barrel extension. So interesting. What I'll probably do, and if this is completely wrong, somebody please tell me before I uh, end up killing myself, is I'll probably pull all these rivets. I'll probably rotate everything, maybe, you know, just a slight turn so that way I'm not lined up with different holes. And um, I'll probably take it to the same welding shop that welded my uh, other stuff on and just have them blast it. Just, just, just throw a weld in there. I don't give a shit. And I'll grind it smooth and then, you know, we'll use that. So if that's a bad idea, please let me know. I'm sure the welder will let me know, but that's how, uh, that's what I think I'm going to go with once I remove these. Other than that, man, it shot great. I'm loving this. It's been, it's been fantastic. Um, if you're on the edge about doing this, please do it. I know I've had some uh, troubles, but that's half the fun. So once again, please like, and subscribe. If you want to pay for me to blow my hand off, there's also a Patreon, but I'm not holding you to it. So thanks.